Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part six of our session on F12 configuration of Ledger Masters, which is part of the playlist of Magic of Tally. So in the last session, we saw how to handle discount with a simple F level feature enablement of additional column of discount. So we saw example also. Now, uh, I had also mentioned that uh, you would not know the value of discount. So it is always better, you know, even in, on your on the face of your invoice, if you are able to, uh, you know, uh, show the amount of discount that you are giving to your customer, customer is going to feel happy because the, the, the value, uh, you know, uh, visual uh, information of the value of discount will always have a better impact. Okay. So the columnar discount, yes, it says that what is the percentage of discount that is provided, but then, you know, the value of discount is not going to be displayed. So today we will see another way of handling discount. Uh, so basically I'll, I'll show you three different way of handling discount. The last session we saw one way of handling discount. And uh, today I'll show you the other method of handling discount uh, where uh, you can you can actually you know display the value of discount that you are providing to your customer now we will create a discount ledger and then we will capture the value of discount that we want to provide so how do we create a discount ledger so from the gateway of tally i go to create Okay, and then I'm going to say ledger. Let me create a discount ledger. CO discount under indirect expenses. Now, uh, again, uh, I I will I will actually uh, you will see that uh, in the information section I will add those vouchers where uh, during my one of my previous videos I have covered the magic of uh, accounting group where I had uh, discussed about the various additional F12 configuration. So there is one important configuration that you need to enable in the group. So what is that configuration? So quickly I'll show you, but in detail you can understand uh, where, where you will see, you will see that uh, on the information where I will uh, give the link of that particular video. So here, uh, again, just to recall, if you want to, uh, view the master or you want to alter the information of the master. So my cursor is under the group uh, field. So I just press control enter. It takes me to the group field. Now here, what you need to do is you have to enable this option called use for calculation, for example, taxes, discount for your sales invoice entries. Okay. So if you don't enable this, then you will not get the uh, uh, the field for specifying the percentage for calculation purpose. Okay, So I'm going to make this as yes, just make sure that it is as by default, this option is going to be no. Okay, So I'm going to press control A. Now, still, I'm not getting uh, the calculation uh, thing where, where Tally is not asking me what is the percentage of discount that I want to provide. Okay, So now, so F12 configuration. And if you see here, provide percentage of calculation for rounding off method, right? So you can you can you can make this as yes here, okay? It's basically for auto calculation during the voucher entry. So I make this as yes. So press Control A, and now you will get this additional field. So please remember that you will get this only first when you enable your used for calculation you make this as yes then you need to enable this feature provide percentage calculation so if i say no here we are not getting this percentage calculation even though you have mentioned that you want to use this ledger for calculation purpose okay so f12 come here and make this as yes control a so now now since this is a discount you can specify a standard. Assume that in your organization, you have a standard discount of say 10% or 5%. So 
So in that case, this kind of uh, scenario that I'm explaining today will be useful to you. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to say minus 10 because it has to reduce the value. Now there is this calculation method. Okay, so what is that? This 10% discount you want to apply on what? So I'm going to say, obviously I'm going to apply on the total sale. Okay, enter. Now this rounding of method again, I have explained in that video. You can you can actually uh, you know go to the video and see in detail these the 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 understanding of these options much better. Okay, so I'm going to say normal rounding off, and the rounding off is going to be one. So now I'm going to save this by pressing Control A, right? So I've created my discount rate. So now when I'm going to go to my sales, let's say I want to uh, pass a sales voucher. Okay, so. I enter this, I select a party, right? And then uh, selecting my sales ledger. Let us say I'm going to select, let's say I'm going to select, so these are my items. So let us say that, let me select, so let's say I'm selecting this item, Dell laptop i5, okay? One number, 51,700, okay? End of list, enter, enter. And now I'm going to select my discount ledger. So I'm going to say discount, enter. Now, since we have configured discount as 10% discount that you want to offer. So we said minus 10%. And you will notice that uh, 5,170, 10% on this value uh, is shown as discount. Okay. So enter, accept, enter. Okay. So bill wise detail, you know all this information come here. Okay. So it says that tax is not captured. So this is the message that you are getting. It says uh, tax is not captured because in this company I've enabled GST also. Don't worry, we will discuss in detail about the GST. So just accept this, accept. And now I want to, let's see how does it look in the invoice when you are printing your invoice and when you are going to uh, give this invoice to your customer. So I'm going to again press page up to get my previously saved voucher and uh, print is uh, alt p and then i can say print current current uh, display instead of that you can directly if you remember the keyboard shortcut so that is where the keyboard shortcuts keyboard shortcuts are going to play a very critical role so if i know this keyboard shortcut directly i can just press control p okay enter and then preview. Okay, so you will now see here that, uh, let me just one sec, hold on. So you will now see here the discount. Yes, you will see here, the discount is coming separately. Okay, the ledger, it says less discount minus 10%. So this way, customer also sees what is the amount of discount the customer is getting. Okay, so minus 10%, 5,170, and the balance amount will get automatically populated. Okay, so the other way of managing or handling discount can also be done this way. Okay, so here you don't need to enable your uh, discount column. And, uh, and the best part here is that now very important because in the last session I said, because you are giving discount in the uh, column, uh, in, a, in an additional column by specifying the percentage of uh, discount, the sale value is going to be captured as a net amount, okay? the net of discount. Now in this case, since you have created a ledger separately for discount, which is 5,170 is the value that you have provided as discount and your gross sale is going to be 51,700. So now Tally is going to capture your sale value as 51,700. It is going to capture discount as 5,170. Okay, So this is how you get your information. Now, at any given point in time, if you want to see on a periodic basis or at the end of the year, if you want to see what is the total discount that you have offered to the customer, now you can get this value and you can see each and every invoice uh, on which you have provided this discount.
So let's go to this ledger and then we'll see. Okay, so we have selected the sales ledger and the discount ledger, right? So now I we go to uh, I can go to Alt G ledger voucher. Then you select sales, okay? And if you notice here, this is the invoice that we raised, okay? So this invoice is now saying that your sales, this is your sales ledger. The value of sales is 51,700. When you enter here, you will see here 51,700 gets automatically captured. The gross amount gets captured. Now let us see what happens to the discount ledger. Now, again, you don't have to press RG and then select discount ledger and all those things. Just remember your secret number one, where on the right hand side button bar, you will see one button called F4 ledger. So whenever you are viewing a particular ledger, if you want to view any other ledger's voucher detail, so all you need to do is just press F4, Tally is going to give you the list of all the vouchers. And here you just say discount, enter. And you will see now discount le discount ledger is debited because we have said minus 10% uh, discount. So it, it is debited in your thing. And the same discount ledger is going to uh, get displayed with the value in your p and account. So let's go to our p and account, Alt G, profit and loss account, enter. Okay, so my indirect expenses, okay. enter. So there is one 30,000 rupees professional charges, which is wrongly classified under indirect expenses. So how do I now change this quickly? Control enter. Okay, all I need to do is just come here and then say it is my uh, direct income, right? So it is that easy in tally. So when we come to reporting of tally, I will show you various uh, magics of reporting in tally. So now this is going to be all right. So my indirect expenses has come on the expenses side right so now just press now if you want to see the detail okay you don't want to expand all the other things so just to see in detail normally you press uh, alt f5 which it expands all the other thing so all we want to see whether in indirect expenditure whether this discount has come right any of discount has come the other alternative is uh this is again the uh, the keyboard shortcut, the power of keyboard shortcut. So all you need to do is if you want to just explore only this particular group, you don't want all the other group to be expanded. So you just put your cursor on any group that you want to expand and press shift enter. So when you press shift enter, you will notice that only this particular group's second level of detailing is displayed. So here you will see discount as 5,170. If you want to collapse it, again, you press shift enter, it is going to collapse. Okay. Let us take another use case. Now, we have specified the discount as minus 10%, which is going to be your standard discount. Now, uh, you might have this question in your mind, ki what happens? Uh, supposing uh, if if I am having, just in case if I'm having, uh, or if I want to provide only 5% discount for some item majority of my item the discount that i would want to provide is 10 percent but there are some items where basically you you will have lesser margin on that so you want to um, you provide only five percent discount so now the question is supposing if i have to provide five percent discount should i have to create another ledger called discount then minus five percent and all those things no not required so by default you can use the same ledger and you can change the percentage of discount that you provide uh, during the voucher entry itself so if in a particular uh, invoice when you select your discount ledger by default we have provided 10 percent discount in the master it is going to pick up 10 percent so but if you want to uh, modify the rate of discount, you can do that in the voucher. So quickly, uh, let us see how we can do this. So we are not going to create multiple discount ledger for multiple rate of discount. So let's go to voucher entry and uh, I'm just going to change the date. So I'm going to change the date as 25 7. 
okay and then uh, let's select the same party i'm going to select sales ledger and let's say this time i'm i'm supplying dell laptop i3 one quantity which is 28800 enter okay now now i'm just coming here and uh, selecting my discount ledger the moment i select my discount ledger it is going to show me 10 percent because it is going to take the value from the master now let's say i want to give only five percent discount in this particular invoice for this particular customer for this particular item very simple just say minus five just remember that you have to put minus figure here okay otherwise it will go and add to the uh, total value so just say minus five so it was minus 10 earlier so 28 10 percent is 2880 now just see automatically tally will recompute the discount based on the percentage that you provide here so the moment you say minus five, it is taken only five percent on the on this particular value, and uh, we have seen how these ledgers are going to get updated. Okay, so this way, just in case if there are some odd discount that you want to give once in a while, or you want to change your standard discount, you can use the same ledger and change the percentage of discount in the voucher itself. Okay, now in the next session we will see another kind of discount. So what is that another kind of discount? So if you see here, we are dealing in one item, right? And uh, we are saying that 10% discount or 5% discount, and it is going to compute. Now what happens? Let's say, especially you are a retailer uh, dealing in, uh, uh, let's say example, uh, you can take computer, uh, you are a computer dealer or computer and computer peripheral dealer where you deal in, hundreds of items now different item probably you will have different discount now this discount uh, you have to understand that this discount is applied on your current total okay so how do we handle uh, this scenario where probably you want to uh, not probably you would want to provide discount a different rate of discount for a different item in the invoice let's say you are billing 10 items okay so each item you have a separate discount uh, uh, to be provided and also you can you can specify uh, how do we handle it what all the ways that you can handle uh, is what we will see uh, 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 in the next session about the third methodology of discount so thank you all very much for staying till the end see you all in the next session Thank you very much.